So, um, okay, so we were set up about three years ago. Three and a half years ago. Three and a half years ago, we were a non profit organisation. And then we became a uh, official British registered charity about the beginning of January, I think, 2006. Yep. And uh, from there, we've been supporting all sorts of things. But what we do mainly support is a, um, a centre, an orphanage in KwaZulu Natal, South Africa, called the Hope Centre. And we support 26 children there that are orphans of HIV and AIDS. Um, and we also support the Hope Centre is attached to the Sweetwaters community, which is just outside um, the Hope Centre in Peter Marysburg. And uh, we support 4,500 children um, affected by HIV and AIDS. And um, so we have, I think, it's over 200 childhood house households. And that means that uh, we've got children as young as 12 running household because their mums and dads and uncles and aunties have all died of it. Um, we have a scheme called Sponsor, Sponsor a Mother that sets up um, mobile mothers who are all, already mothers themselves in their own homes with their own kids who then go out to the community and support the children and babies, administer retro, antiretroviral drugs um, to where it's needed. and. Uh, and also what they do is they provide a service whereby they have a soup, a soup kitchen. Thank you, my love. I'll get her. Come over. Go and get her, love. Come. Come. No. Press. Press. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, and uh, so what they do is the children, we've set, we've set up money for these children to be schooled, have their um, uniforms. They don't have uniforms and don't have their school fees paid. They can't go. It's not government subsidised or funded. And... Uh, and so what they do is they go to school, they, they pick up their uniforms that have been washed the night before by the mobile mothers, they go to school, come back, drop the uniforms off, change their own stuff and then go home, fed and happy and as they can be. Um, so these are like substitute mothers. And we have, I think we have about 10 to 11 mobile mothers, but our sponsor mother was set up on our website to provide these kids with the ability to have these, these women go out and do their job in the community. Um, we had, we used to, sorry, <laughs> we used to support uh, 1,275 children and in the last year that shot up to 4,500 because it used to be that was 80 adults dying in the community. It's now 170 adults dying per week in the community which is why the numbers have shot up so quickly. Um, we are now officially the, uh, we have the highest statistics of any other community in the world for HIV and AIDS. Um, in the world, do you know what I mean? So we're in the right place. Hmm. That just about sums it up, really.